Okay, we're gonna tie this wonderful fly here, Jay's Jiggy Chub. This is a trout streamer tied on a jig hook. That's about what it's gonna look like. It's a dynamite trout streamer. Guess what? It'll catch, I almost said striped bass. It'll probably catch striped bass. It's a great smallmouth fly as well. Brown trout, rainbow trout. Northern pike minnow. I'm gonna start, this is, you know, it's always fun to get the thread started on these hooks. This is an, uh, and if, if my hands look a little bit awkward, it's because in order to get this view, I have to sit off to the side. So I'm doing all this time, kind of a strange angle. This is an Umqua 60 degree jig hook. And I am using a Danville's 210 denier flat wax mono thread. Double pupil and lead eyes. So you could, how do you decide where to put your lead eyes on? You could put them clear up here. You could put them back here. I. I just kind of put them at the bend, at the 60 degree bend. And I try to get them centered and secured. Okay, here we go. So, the tail, I'm using a Spirit River UV Marabou. I've got a couple of olive quills here and I'm going to add in a couple of tan quills and you could put tan on the top olive on the bottom you could put olive on the top point is it's okay I'm going to put olive on the bottom tan on the top trim it there Tie it in nice and securely. Let's put a little bit of flash in that tail. Peacock, crystal flash. Two strands, each side. Whoops, I got three. Is that okay? Oops, I got four. That'll work. Don't want five though. That'd be one too many. There we go. Trim it off there. Okay, now the body material. Wow, look at that. It's a new product. It's a wireless synthetic fox brush. Which, what does that mean? It's probably craft fur. It's pretty nice stuff. I'm, I'm new to working with it, but what this is doing for me is this is giving me some bulk to fill out the body of this fly, but it is, um, how shall I say, I don't know the right word. Um, it, this is not going to absorb a lot of water, so it won't be difficult to cast. Is that enough? I think that's enough. There we go. Now, could you use a plain old chenille body? Sure, you could use chenille, eye chenille, variegated chenille, sparkle chenille. You could use all sorts of things. The point is to, this is a bait fish imitation. We're using some somewhat natural colors. Now, this here thing is a Senyo's chromatic brush, and this is a, um, Boy, that was a long silence. This is a pale bronze color. It's got some olive in it and some brown, and it doesn't really have orange in it, but it's olive and brown and tan. It's got a little copper flash in it as well. This is really, this is really nice pure. And they're black tips too. 
So I don't, because it has some flash in it, I don't need to, oops. Okay, we took a little pause there, now we're back. I'm gonna put a little dab of Loctite in there. Get on my um, C and D hackle pliers. Best hackle pliers on the planet. Or something like that. So this chromatic brush, th this is a chub imitation. Um, the chubs I'm talking about are kind of a, a olive tan color. Let's toss up how many turns of this chromatic brush you might want to take. I'm gonna probably take about three turns. Whoops! Come back here. I'm holding this with a uh, hackle part instead of my fingers because I don't want to. Sometimes I get my fingers, I pull the fibers back too much. So we're going to eventually tie this fly in some other co color combinations. And this is a fly that can be, uh, believe it or not, can be fished under an indicator or it can be cast and stripped and swung. It's not too heavy. These are uh, these double pup these are the medium double pupil eyes. Not super heavy. And this fly is not going to soak up a lot of water. And it's going to ride with the hook point up, so it's going to be somewhat snag resistant. I'm using a brown thread there. She don't love the way I throw in. I have no idea what I'm going to say. No script. But um, let's get this. Let's get everybody wild and free here. So this is a and the interesting thing is that this fly will fish well in waters that don't have chubs. You don't have to have chubs in the water. Fish, predatory fish recognize prey. And this is a prey imitation. And we're going to do some other ones too in whites and lighter colors, darker colors. But here you have it. Jay's Jiggy Chub Trout Streamer. Give it a try. Get out there and have some fun no matter what. Thank you.